Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Rosas and I'm an admission counselor with the USC Viterbi School of Engineering. I'm sure you guys are both excited and a little overwhelmed with college application season. And if you're not applying this year, your turn will be here before you know it. So I put together this quick video, hopefully you find it helpful. I'm gonna tell you how you can apply to the Viterbi School, what a completed common application looks like, things that I wish every student knew about the Viterbi program, as well as addressing some frequently asked questions. Spoiler alert, applying to the Viterbi School is very easy. There's no separate application process. We do not require additional paperwork or materials. We do have two Viterbi specific short answer questions, 250 words or less, but besides that, that's it. I'm about to walk you through the application process and show you how easy and how stress-free it can be. The first thing you're going to want to do is create your account through the Common App. I'll be using a practice account for this demonstration, so our screens may look a little different, but the steps will be the same. We will start by adding the University of Southern California to our colleges list. Type in University of Southern California, and it should appear. You're going to go ahead and add it. Now we want to confirm that this has been added to our colleges list. So go over to the menu on the left-hand side and click My Colleges. Looks like it's been added, so we can take a look at the application now. In order to submit your Common App, you will need to complete all of these sections, but for this video, I will be going over the specifics in order to be considered for the Viterbi School. You'll wanna to go to General Information, select the appropriate term, which is Fall 2026, choose your preferred admission plan, I'll put Early Action, and complete the rest of this. Now this part is important. In order to be considered for the Viterbi School of Engineering, we will only read your application if you list us as the first choice major. Our majors will be prepended with VSE, so you'll need to select a major that's prepended with VSE. Now, I want to make sure that you guys are aware of the two short answer questions that will automatically populate once you've selected our major as your first choice major. Go over to the writing questions and scroll down all the way to the bottom. This will be where the two short answer questions are. The first question, your unique contributions to USC Viterbi, and the second question, the engineering grand challenges. These questions are designed to get to know you a little bit better, so don't overthink them. We do have a blog that you can refer to if you need any additional advice or tips on how to approach these questions. Once you've completed these questions and completed the rest of your Common App, that's all we require. I'm sure you're eager to submit your application after seeing how easy it is to apply to the Viterbi School. But before you do, let's make sure everything is complete and ready to go. First being that you've completed all sections of the Common App. That will include the writing questions and all the supplementals for both USC and the Viterbi specific supplementals. We will also require a teacher slash counselor report. This needs to come from either your school counselor or teacher, and it needs to be submitted through the Common App. Your high school counselor should be familiar with how to process this document through the Common App. But some quick tips to ease any stress. Only the Common App and the supplementals are due by the deadline. Any other documents like transcripts or letters of recommendations can come afterwards. We do recommend getting those in as soon as possible as we can't review your application until it is considered complete. So take a breath, make sure that you've completed everything that I mentioned here today and you're all set. Now let's get into what I wish every student knew about the Viterbi School. We do not require any students to have any previous engineering or research experience. All we ask is that you have a genuine passion or honest passion in making an impact on the world. If you have that, then you should apply. No need to be an expert. You're gonna have about four years to build the skills, gain the knowledge, and become the engineer or computer scientist you want to become. You do not need to know everything right now. What does matter are the courses that you're taking in high school. We do want to see four years of math, four years of science. High school prep is important. If your high school offers calculus, we would like to see that at least completed or in progress at the time of submitting your application. If your high school offers physics, we recommend taking this course 
If not, that's okay. General science courses are great too. Now let's talk about important dates and deadlines because these have a sneaky way of creeping up on you. If you're interested in being considered for a merit-based scholarship, you should apply in early action by the early action deadline of November 1st. This is non-binding. You'll hear back in late January if you're admitted through early action or if you're being deferred into regular decision. If you are applying in regular decision, your application deadline will be January 10th. Now let's clear up some things we get asked all the time. What major in Viterbi is easier to get into? We do not have any impact in majors, and in our admission process, there are no set number of seats per major. As a result, you do not have a better or worse chance of applying to a particular major within Viterbi. We typically recommend apply to whatever interests you because you will have the flexibility offered immediately. If you're admitted into a Viterbi program, you can switch your majors within Viterbi very easy. There's no additional application process. You do not need to reapply. Typically, it's just a conversation with your academic advisor. When will I hear back from USC? If you applied early action, you'll hear back in about mid to late January about your admission decision or if you're being deferred into the regular decision pool. If you applied regular decision, you'll hear back from the Office of Admissions around April 1st. Can I send the Viterbi admission team anything additional to help my chances? Please don't. To ensure we review everything about you, it should all be included on the common application. There is plenty of space to do so. If there is something you would like to provide more context to, we highly recommend utilizing the additional information section. But please do not send us anything additional, separate, or directly. My transcripts and letters of recommendations will not be submitted by the deadline. Is this going to hurt my chances? Only the Common App is due by those deadlines that I mentioned earlier. Transcripts and letters of recommendations can come after, but we do recommend getting those in as soon as possible. We cannot review your application until it is considered complete, so having all those additional documents. All right, that's everything that I have for you guys today. If you still have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can contact us with the information provided on the screen or give us a call at 213-600-9919 or email us at vadmit at usc.edu. I do recommend checking out our Viterbi Admission website. We have a lot of information about the student experience, faculty members, research, and so much more. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful and I'm looking forward to reading your application in the future. Good luck and fight on.